a federal judge striking down the nationwide mask mandate for mass transit. And now the TSA is dropping the requirement effective immediately. More companies dropping mask mandates as you were sleeping. American, Delta, United, Southwest, JetBlue, Frontier, among the airlines making masks optional at the airport and in the air. The ruling impacting more than just airlines. Both national and local transit agencies get to decide now if masks are required on board. Some upholding the mandate, others are doing away with it. We're covering the story from many angles, from the airports to the White House. Paul Gerke is at LaGuardia Airport with a closer look at the ruling. Paul? Good morning, Adrian. Passengers are used to seeing signs like these. They've been looking at them for about two years. It's time for an edit. Appropriate face covering is now optional here at LaGuardia and airports around the country. Honestly, we've been seeing people coming in with a mix. Mask on, max off. I don't think anybody wants to be the first person to get chastised for flashing a little cheek for the first time. But we're finally there. You can do it if you want to. And you're going to start to see more and more smiles in your departure gate for the first time in a long time. On our Delta Hub, it says mask now optional for employees, customers, following the White House. You are now free to move about without your masks. A round of applause from passengers after learning masks are now optional on flights. A federal judge in Tampa struck down the CDC's transportation mask mandate Monday, ruling the agency had exceeded its authority and failed to follow proper procedures. Judge Catherine Kimball Mazell argued the mandate didn't live up to its purpose of sanitation. Wearing a mask cleans nothing, she wrote. At most, it traps virus droplets, but it neither sanitizes the person wearing the mask nor sanitizes the conveyance. The order effectively ends mask requirements on flights and in public transportation hubs. The TSA announced it will no longer handle enforcement, and the airlines were quick to drop their mandates in turn, falling like dominoes and signaling the end of an era that caused confusion and turmoil in the sky. The FAA reported a record number of unruly passenger reports in 2021, nearly 6,000 of them. About 4,300 of those were related to masks. The CDC had extended its mask mandate until May 3rd, citing the need to study an uptick in COVID cases caused by the BA2 Omicron subvariant. But airline and industry groups have fought the mandate for a while now arguing air on a plane is filtered and is cleaner than in most places. And as the news rolled in, across terminals and in the skies, many passengers were more than happy to breathe it in. It's over immediately. Congratulations. When's the last time you heard a round of applause in an airplane for something that wasn't corny? Airlines are preaching patience over the next day or so. Messaging like this takes some time to roll out, so try not to lose your cool and end up on a no-fly list if you're heading out today or tomorrow. And remember, the airlines were lobbying for this for a, a while now, Adrian. This is something they wanted to see, which helps explain why they were so quick to roll back their policies, even when this announcement came as a bit of a surprise. Yeah, they absolutely believe that uh, the mask mandates have actually added to the occurrence of those uh, upset, unruly passengers on board planes. So I think they're going to have a sigh of relief this morning. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.